Welcome in, New England Patriots today by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us. Coming up on today's show, we will get you an updated list of potential free agent targets for your New England Patriots. With the NFL draft in the books, who are some players that the Patriots could consider? We'll tell you about it coming up in just a matter of moments. Before we do, got to make sure you subscribe to the channel as we are talking about your Patriots each and every day, bringing you the best content around here as we're talking daily news and rumors. We also are talking trades, free agency, and more. And if you are a diehard Patriots fan, this is the channel for you. And even though the draft's over, doesn't mean we won't be talking OTAs and minicamp and training camp and all that. This channel is going to cover it all. So go ahead and subscribe right now for free. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. YouTube.com slash Patriots today. So I have five players at five different positions that I want to discuss as possible options for the New England Patriots. Let's start at the corner position with Marcus Peters. Rocky Sin is already off the market, uh, who was my favorite corner uh, that was available in this second wave. But Marcus Peters is still around. And I know what may, some of you may be thinking, well, didn't you just draft Christian Gonzalez? Why would you need to sign a free agent corner? Well, the, the truth of the matter is New England – needed multiple corners entering this offseason. So getting Jones back was a big deal. Uh, drafting Gonzalez was a big deal. I still think you need one more, and Marcus Peters, I think, could be a good fit. He's had a very good career at this point. Three-time Pro Bowler, uh, previously with the Ravens, the Chiefs, and the Rams, also was the defensive rookie of the year in the NFL in 2015. And this is a guy that he might give up a few from time to time, but he's going to win – some of those big ones as well uh, and, and get you those turnovers, those playmaking plays uh, from that corner position. So Marcus Peters, to me, at this juncture, I don't think he's going to cost you a whole lot, has veteran experience. I think he'd be a good fit for the Patriots. Here's more from fans cited on why Marcus Peters could be a good fit for the Patriots. He isn't going to be a long-term option, obviously, but Peters could provide some of the ball hawking that the Pats have lost over the last two seasons with the departure of J.C. Jackson and the retirement of Devin McCourty. So what do you guys think? Name a player the Patriots should sign. I got four more names I'm going to get to. Whether you like Marcus Peters or some other guys that come to mind, tell me in the comment section that you'd like to see in a Patriots uniform in 2023. Let's move to the offense, to the outside linebacker position uh, is where we're going to find Jadavion Clowney. And much like what we talked about with Marcus Peters, Jadavion Clowney, this is a veteran that's had a very successful career uh, of what he's been able to do across the National Football League. The former, uh, you know, number one overall pick and uh, the teams he's played for with Houston, Seattle, Cleveland, he's been successful everywhere he's been. Now, he's dealt with some injuries uh, from time to time, but for the most part, even as he's gotten older, he still played really good football to this point. In 2022, had 28 tackles, two sacks, four tackles for loss, one force fumble, and one fumble recovery. I still think that he's got something left in the tank and could be a nice fit for uh, New England as far as I'm concerned. Offensive tackle, let's go to that position now. And the Patriots, I think, are kind of desperate when it comes to this offensive tackle spot. Cameron Fleming is who we bring up next. Now, I know what you may be thinking when it comes to Cameron Fleming. Wait, didn't this guy give up seven sacks last year? He did. Uh, but this feels like a, a Band-Aid of some sorts until you can find a better solution next offseason potentially. Although the numbers do say seven sacks allowed last year, the nerd numbers from Pro Football Focus show a guy that uh, is highly rated in almost every category, doesn't get called for a ton of penalties either. So with Cam Fleming, you do get the good, but you get the bad, and he shouldn't cost you a whole lot either. Cam Fleming is a very affordable player, so he's got that going for him as far as that goes uh, with Cam Fleming there. We'll see ultimately where he ends up. Then there's Jarvis Landry. And Jarvis Landry, so fascinating to me because this is a guy that was highly successful with uh, the Miami Dolphins and the Cleveland Browns, 
was a Pro Bowl caliber receiver, played really good football. And then this year he went to the New Orleans Saints and things weren't so great for Jarvis Landry with the New Orleans Saints this year. It was not necessarily available all the time as he dealt with injuries and just wasn't consistent. I'll say this, if Jarvis Landry, if, a big if, can stay healthy, I think Jarvis Landry can still play at a very high level in this league, that he can be a nice fit. And you look at this New England team of where they're at uh, with Juju and some of these other receivers there, Jarvis Landry, I think, if he, assuming he's healthy, Jarvis can come in and get immediate playing time uh, if he's available out there. So to me, I think Jarvis, a veteran experience that's shown a lot of talent, if he can stay healthy out there, this is could be a guy that you're looking at of being an impact player and not going to cost you a whole lot either, that sounds like a good mix of what New England is looking for of sorts. CBS Sports had this to say about Jarvis Landry. Landry is the most accomplished wideout amongst the free agents. Even if the five-time Pro Bowl wideout had just 25 catches for 272 yards and a touchdown in an injury-plagued season. Just 30 years old, teams should be willing to take a flyer on Landry, who is still one of the top route runners when healthy. And that's what we're going out here. When he's available, he is still a force to be reckoned with, still a good possession receiver, and can make an impact on a team out there. So what do you think? Jarvis Landry. You like the idea of bringing him to New England and seeing if he can revive his career of some sorts? Let us know in the comment section. Why for yes, in for no. Would you like to see the Patriots sign Jarvis Landry or not? Let us know in the comment section below. And last on our list, that's where we find Deion Jones at inside linebacker. Deion Jones, uh, this is a guy that we, we've seen him play for you know a couple different teams around the league and most recently was in Cleveland. And things uh, weren't his best last year for Deion Jones, 44 tackles, two and a half sacks, Five tackles for loss, one forced fumble with no fumble recoveries. But still, I mean, I, I look at Deion Jones. He's not terribly old. Uh, I mean, there, there should still be something left. And the Patriots, you know, I know that inside linebacker going into this offseason wasn't necessarily their highest priority. But Deion Jones could be a guy that, that comes in and, and, and competes right away and makes the guys around him better. So those are a few players uh, that come to mind, some potential Targets for the Patriots. Let's see what they do uh, in free agency here. What's the Patriots' biggest need? We went over a few of them. Tell us what you think they need to improve on in the comments section below. What comes to mind you'd like to see the Patriots get better at? Hit me up on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Tyler Jones Live. Talking about your New England Patriots there. I'll see you next time right here on Patriots Today.